D-Day. In tonight's 12 News Extra, photojournalist Julie Jones visits with four Valley veterans. Each feel they did nothing special that day, but history tells a different story. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, the eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers. After we found out that we were going to go in, General Eisenhower had made this uh, statement. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. I, I know everybody was scared. If anybody will tell you they weren't scared, they, they're, they're lying. To you. We didn't even speak to, uh, to each other, you know, we were just so quiet. Everything was so quiet, you know, that we were just waiting and waiting what the hell it was, was going to happen. Well, I know it's when we got out of the landing craft and I got maybe 30, 40 feet and I got hit by the machine gun. And I laid on the beach for a few minutes and I thought to myself, geez, I can't lay here. I got to get out of here. <laughs> and I, I made it up to the beach, but guys were dropping like flies all around me when you know, I was running. But uh, I just kept going, so I did get up to the cliffs. So we were watching that beach. We were looking at that beach and it was hot. I don't mean the temperature. It was a hot beach. Somebody up there likes me. Before they dropped the ramp, it turned so quiet on that beach, there was no incoming artillery. There was nothing going on. If there was a bird on that beach, you could have heard him sing. We got about maybe 100 yards inland, and all hell broke loose behind us. Robolewski, Dyack. Um, and I can't remember the name of the guy that died right over here. The guy that got hit over here, Henry Bloom. I don't remember his name. That's a shame. Yeah, I don't think any of the fellows that were, that were there will ever forget it. I didn't know too much about what had happened to a lot of my friends. After the war was over, I got a, a book from my regimental book, and in the back it's got all the fellows that were killed. Yeah. So all my grandsons and nephews and stuff like that, they're always asking me questions about that. I, I want them to know that, that, that there's not only me, but there were thousands of them that they used to they were waiting for to. I want future generations to know that we did the job, and we did it well. If you are with the 1st Division on D-Day and would like to get a hold of other veterans, here's a phone number you can call. You can call Milt Geller at 895-6609. That number again is 895-6609. Those are powerful memories yeah, that those wow. guys have. Unbelievable, huh? makes you realize how important things are. Yep.